where the dragons live. Hey there, dragon. Have I met Bahamut, the Dragon King? I haven't, actually. But uh, we'll be meeting him pretty soon, I think. Honors those with courage as true warriors. Hmm. Oh, there ain't nothing else here. Just some dude in a cave. He's all alone. I was giving him some company, I suppose. Gotta park all the way down here. Now, the airship, of course, can only park on grassland. Sup, dragon? We are going to the Castle of Ordeal to the northeast. There we will test and bring back proof of our courage. That's uh, subtle foreshadowing there for you. Sup? Nothing here. Too bad. Where am I going? Let's go this way. Sup, dude? Once in the north, there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. There were... Wait, what did I say? Once in the north, there were beautiful palaces and big mechanical castles. I honestly cannot remember if I said beautiful palaces or something else entirely. Um, so, find that back and see what I said. Alright, a house. 500 gold. Proof of your courage might be anything. Oh my god. It could be anything. It could even be a boat. <laughs> 10 gold. I had to wait for that guy to move for 10 gold. Fuck you, dragon. Alright, back out of this cave. Alright, we've been attacked. Oh shit! It's Rick and Keel! And Beach is dead. Haha! -ha! But Guy knows motherfucking. Oh, I can't cast it. That's okay. We got all the time in the world to go get Beach brought back to life. But first, we're checking out these caves. Sup, dude? 1455 gold, an odd amount. 2000 gold. 2750 gold. That's the nice thing about the Cardia Islands here, is there's just some random shit laying around. Sup, dude? You were not afraid of me? Well, not really. You're the same size as me, so you're only a medium sized dragon. Which, of course, means you've only got, you know, maybe four or five hit dice. Then I am impressed. Okay, good for you. 160 gold. 9,500 gold. 2,750 gold. 1,520 gold. See, we're cleaning up on monies. By the way, the 3% uh, of you that got the uh, hit dice joke on that dragon... Congratulations! Congratulations for that. Let's hop back on the USS Kilometers Austin. Alright, so we've been to those. We have not been to these... Manticore! Get the fuck out! And everyone's poisoned. Fuck you! Fuck you, I have cures. Shit! I just wasted a cabin because I clicked the button too soon. Fucking kidding me, man. If you are brave enough, try he meeting the king of the dragons, Bahamut! Oh shit, man. Is he bigger than you guys? Unprofitable business is not a practice of the dragons of Cardia. I did not know the dragons were motherfucking Ferengi. Oh, these guys just want to talk. I oh, no, dragons and humans lived and traded together. See, there's more talk about trading and profits. I wonder if they have the rules of acquisition. Remember, that rule of acquisition number one is, once you have their money, you never give it back. Alright. This is actually where Bahamut is. Normally, I don't actually bother coming here until I've already been through the Castle of Ordeal. But, um... You know, I can let you guys see. Because... It's a Let's Drink. Got my vodka throwback. Alright. This is Bahamut's room. 
Bahamut verifies the true courage of all. I am Bahamut, king of the dragons. And yada yada, he wants proof of our courage to receive the honor due true warriors. So apparently that's in the castle of Ordeal, based on the foreshadowing conversation that one of the other dragons had with us. So that's nice. But, um, I think we still got a couple more caves in the Cardi Islands to, uh, to clear. And then we have to go back to Canaria, get Beach raised again, because Ricky and Keel beamed him in the face. And then we'll go to the Castle of Ordeal. Alright. Some other rules of acquisitions. Uh, based on these dragons here in the Ferengi. Rule of acquisition number 34. War is good for business. Rule of acquisition 35. Peace is good for business. Let's look it up. There's a lot of rules of acquisition. They're all pretty great. I particularly like the back-to-back, uh, -back, um, never have sex with the boss's sister, always have sex with the boss. Uh, which doesn't really make sense for Ferengi, since they don't allow women to take part in business, like, of any sort. So it's an odd, um, it's an odd back-to-back -back of rules. The fuck am I? Alright, I'm on. Let's go all the way back over to Canaria. I'm going back to Canaria because, of course, it is cheapest to bring someone back to life there. Let's do that real quick. Beach, back to life. And we need to restock on some heals. So let's do that. Um, what do you want to talk about while I uh, buy like 75 heals or whatever it is? Um, how you guys doing? <laughs> oh. I've been having a lot of vodka throwback. That's been my drink of choice as of late. It's kind of spicy. I know that sounds weird that a drink would be spicy. But it, it, it tastes kind of spicy. When The more vodka there is, the more spicy it is. I don't know, maybe it's because I eat chicken sandwiches with, um, like, pepper jack cheese on them. While, while I'm drinking the vodka throwback. That might play a role. But, um, yeah. So, we're buying heels. And I don't really feel like singing right now. No, sir. Not gonna do it. Um, it's football season. It's about to start back up. Within 24 hours of when I'm recording this, you'll be seeing the Vikings play the Saints, rematch the NFC Championship game of this past year, the return of Brett Favre, Brett Favre, Brett Favre. I, uh, I pretty much hate Brett Favre, but um, as you know, that's because I'm a Cowboys fan. I don't even, I don't respect him. He needs to go back to, uh, to rehab for his goddamn little pain addiction. Painkiller addiction. Wow. Um, he's not actually addicted to pain, I don't think. Just to painkillers. But he was. Screw that guy. But. Let's see. Prediction for tonight. Uh, for tomorrow night. Whatever night it is when they play that game. Uh, I'm gonna say... Saints, 34. Vikings, 31. So Saints win. That's my guess. It would be really funny if I'm actually right. Of course, the Cowboys play the Redskins this week. A Sunday night game on NBC. 
at uh, Phoenix Field in uh, Landover, Maryland. Oh, and we're done buying heels. Landover, Maryland, home of the uh, Washington Redskins. The Dallas Cowboys are coming to town. Tony Romo, Biz Bryant, Marion Barber the Third, Felix Jones, Roy Williams, and the USS Kilometers Austin. All right. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Now what we're gonna do now is we're going for the Castle of Ordeals. It is. Now, there's actually two ways to get to the Castle of Ordeals. You could ride up here on the ship, dock here with the canoe, and walk down here. Or you can dock all the way over here. You can land over here with the airship, walk all the fuck away around here, and get to it that way. Um, which is what we're gonna do. It's not like going to get the ship. Mainly because we're running from all these fights anyway. I run a lot more in this than I normally do when I play this game. A much lower level than I normally am when I play this game. Um, I don't have patience for the random battles right now. Or at any point when I've been recording Let's Drink Final Fantasy. Now you might be wondering why that is. If I normally fight everything, and in this case I'm running from everything. Well, basically, it's because... I don't really have an answer. But, um... I'm not really sure why, to be... to be frank. Oh crap, Sphinx. Some Sphinxes. I am... Sorry, I am using a uh, different microphone today. It's like a headset one. And, uh... Yeah. Alright. The Hydra? On land? Well, I guess. Alright. Let's use one of our cabins here. And we'll get ready to go into the Castle of Ordeals.